state the characteristics illustrated by the photo below you can see it method uh, uh, that characteristics is what that one is nutrition we'll go to the next one you can see the band moving very fast that characteristics is movement or locomotion number eight method name the most suitable operator used to collect the following specimens for study in the laboratory grasshopper you use sweep net rat built trap fish fish net ant putter or pit pitfall trap stinging needle that one is a pair a pair of forceps number nine below is an operator used to trap specimen identify the apparatus this one is pit for trap and you can see an organism has been caught uh, you are told next to state the purpose of the part labeled R you can see the part labeled R very clearly uh, to prevent entry of rain water prevent the entry of uh, rain water or sun rays number 10 number 10 you are told uh, what is a specimen what is a specimen a specimen is a whole or a part of an organism being studied or examined number 10 and number 11 now list three precautions made during a collection and observation of specimen what are some of the precautions that are taken during the collection and the specimen number one collect only the number of specimens you need number two do not harm uh, specimens during the capture or the collection number three do not destroy the natural habitat of the specimen number next after use return any live specimen back to the habitant whenever possible next dangerous or injurious, injurious specimen should be handled with a lot of care such include sting plants or insects make use of forceps and hand gloves in such cases next for highly mobile uh, mobile uh, animals uh, should be mobilized go to the next one number 12 below is a, uh, is a drawing of an apparatus used during the study of biology identify the apparatus this one is you can see it has but s t and u uh, this one is magnifying length or hand length number b name the part labeled s t and u s is frame t is convex lens u is handle next you go to the next one see the function of the apparatus the apparatus makes small objects to appear bigger a large specimen or magnify a specimen next a student observing a hand of an insect using a hand lens write the formula used to calculate magnification of the specimen using a hand lens so magnification is equal to uh, drawing length over actual length you get the answer number next she made a drawing of hand whose length was that uh, three centimeter if the magnification was times two calculate the length the actual length of the drawing so this is how you calculate it and drawing length over actual length then uh, the drawing length is 3 over 2 you get 1.5 centimeter and number 13 the three main differences between a plant and animals three main three main I want us to want us to look at this question down here so we have the table here it is complete
right now the three main differences between plant and animals animal one side and plants the other side animals has specialized complex excretory organs plants have simple excretory organs animals respond quickly to stimulus plants respond to stimulus slowly animals have definite growth plants have indefinite growth animals move around to look for food plants are stationary animals are heterotrophic plants are autotrophic cells uh, animal cells have no cell walls plant cells have cell walls uh, wall made of cellulose cells lack chlorophyll animal cells lack chlorophyll uh, plant cells have chlorophyll we go to go to number 14 define the following terms taxon taxon is a group of organisms with similar characteristics species is a group of organism that can naturally interbreed to give rise to fertile of offspring number 15 state two reasons that make scientific names to be written in latin language why do they use latin language but one does not change but two uh, was widely spoken or used by scientists during Linnaeus time number 16 state three importances of classification of living organisms uh, why do we classify what are the importance of that uh, to place organisms in their right groups for reference number two put together organisms with similar characteristics and separate those with the different characteristics number three to organize information about living organisms in an orderly manner to avoid chaos that may arise may arise if it was done arbitrarily next understand evolutionary relationship between organisms number 17 state all the taxonomic units in a descending order and descending order we have kingdom we have pila phyla or division class we have order we have family we have genus we have species number 18 apart from plantae and animalia name the three other kingdoms of classification classification and give an example for each we have one side kingdom the other side example fagai we have mushroom pratista we have amoeba monera we have bacteria monera we have bacteria number 19 what is binomial nomenclature and binomial nomenclature is assigning of two scientific names to living organisms state three rules of binomial nomenclature the genus genus name should start followed by scientific name this question they keep on repeating eh? they repeat and that's why there is no reason for student to fail because these questions i have found them in many 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 questions in many many exams including kcsc uh, the name should be underlined separately when under and written then the scientific name is sometimes written with the name of the person who first described the organism adequately number 20 the scientific name of wow pao is karika papaya which taxonomic unit is represented by the name Karika? That one is genus. Stage two mistakes made 
in writing the name uh, starting the genus name with a small letter mm -hmm. number two starting the species name with a capital letter number c read the name correctly carica papaya that is how you're supposed to write it and hey, number two number 22 no 21 no this is uh, 20c uh, 21 now the scientific name of tiger is panthera tigris and that of jaguar is panthera Faulkner. state the reason why a tiger and a jaguar cannot interbreed yet they belong to same genus they belong to different species number 22 uh, study it does drop this question here so that you can see it properly Study the light microscope below and answer the questions that follow. You can see it here very clearly. Part A, part G. Number one, name the part labeled A to L. A is high piece. B is cause and adjustment knob. You can see B, yeah, C fine and adjustment knob d is is body tube e is revolving nose piece f is high power objective lens g is condenser h is mirror l is base and uh, we are through with this video we thank you so much for watching up to the end and uh, if you have any question if there is anything you want us to maybe do uh, you can write in the comment section and uh, we shall appreciate if you have not uh, subscribed i would request you to take a few seconds subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notification we once again take uh, this opportunity to thank our subscribers and uh, because you can see uh, this work is moving on well and uh, you know our intention is to make our learners uh, perform well in their exams uh, we thank you so much until next time uh, goodbye for now